guys welcome back to another video in today's video we just have a up close shop my stash detail type of purple look just a very soft purple look using the most random stuff in my stash ever so if you want to see how i got this look the products i use and all of that make sure you keep on watching but first if you're not subscribed go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well as the bell notification button so you're notified when i post new videos and we're on to the video bye guys look i turned this way like y'all not over there bye guys <laughs> Alright guys, you are up and personal NYX Blur for primer today. Because why not? Since we've been really loving it. <laughs> I've been really loving it. You guys haven't tried it yet? If you haven't tried it, I'm going to need you to try it. I've been using it for a week almost. A week, a little over a week. And I haven't picked up my Cookies and Dream since I been wearing this and you know the cookies and dreams they no longer sell that the elf cookies and dream so if you're in the market for a new primer then try this one it leaves my skin feeling like a soft velvet to matte you know it's kind of matte but then it still has a little bit of radiance and glow with it so I'm not totally matte and it does blur the pores. I think that's what I like the most about it is I can see where it actually helps my pore area. And it has SPF 30. So you're going to need the SPF. And I really just focus it and make sure I pat like in my pore area. But yeah, y'all real up and close and personal today. I just felt like being close, okay? Then we're going to color correct, of course, with liquid lipstick. If you have like an orange tone liquid lipstick, you can use anything. This right here was from Shein, and it was it's called Sweet Poison. But if you have any kind of shade like this, feel free to use it. I like a color corrector as long as it does not transfer or bleed into my foundation or concealer. And I love this liquid lipstick because it doesn't do any of that. I was telling one of my buddies here, I was looking at Ulta's uh, 21 Days of Beauty. And it's not how it used to be. It is so dry this year. I don't know. I'm going to look again. That's a couple of items. Maybe like three or four. Maybe five that I'm interested in. But I haven't even been on their website to be honest. Some of my no color powder to set this. Why is that in the way? I'm like, oh, they don't even have. I wonder if they got surprise deals this year. Because I know they usually do like surprise specials. I wonder if they have a. Uh, because you know they usually have my um, Benefits eyebrow pencil for sizing my brow for like $12. I didn't see that. And they always have that. And if you haven't noticed, like when Alta's doing their 21 Days of Beauty, Sephora will have surprise deals. And most likely they're the same items that Alta has. So pay attention to Sephora also if you're in the market for new makeup. Clearly... I don't need any. Clearly, I'd be wanting some. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna do foundation in a minute. I I got like four or five eyeshadow palettes that I got out of my stash. Yeah, I don't know why. They're the Elf bite size eyeshadow um stuff. So these I'm not because I don't know the name. I probably don't took the name off. But this is how they look. So, I think I'm going to take this one and mix these two shades. I want to say they probably still sell these. I don't see why. What? Why don't you focus? Focus. I don't see why they wouldn't. But you never know. You just never know sometimes. Get a little. Okay. Had to erase some 
memory on the card. It is showing a little, not a lot. I'm going to try this one. <laughs> or hold on. I got another one. Let me see something. Uh -oh. Yeah, this is uh, the lip bar in the shade Royalty. I'm going to try that one. Told y'all I had all kind of shadows today. I was like, let's try the bite size. <laughs> the bite size shadows. The lip bar is still in Target. Not a lot of people talk about it. But they are a good brand in my opinion. It was really hot some years ago. I don't know what's the, and I was thinking, I was like, I wonder what the new hottest makeup is these days. Like, what's the hottest thing going these days for makeup? Like, what is the thing that everyone is grabbing or everyone is going for these days? Yeah, that was better. I just added a little more because the elf was a little too light. All right, I'm going to take some of my NYX glitter glue. And yeah, I know since I found it, I can't put it down. And we're going to put that on the open areas. This one, this helps the matte shadow stick, glitter shitter, glitter shitter, gl <laughs> glitter shadows, all kind of shadow stick. Don't think you just have to use this just for glitter shades. You can use mattes for it. All right, then we're going to take a purple shade since I got a purple sweater this morning for work. This is my favorite lid brush. I don't think this is it. I used it the other day. That's what I get for not putting stuff back where I know I reach for them at. I'm notorious for that. So I try to I can close that up. I try to try to try to get it right, but yeah, I know how that goes. Oh well, I'm gonna use this one because I don't see it and I like to apply my glitter shades with that brush, y'all. You know how you have a, a this brush that you probably gonna use all the time. Bang up there it go. Okay, so I'm gonna take this purple shade. And let's see what it do. It's a Monday, so yeah, I know how I am with Mondays. With Mondays, I just have to give myself an extra little boost of morale. To get going. Mm -hmm. And time went forward this weekend, so I'm all confused. Elf, it's time for Elf to release some new makeup. Maybe they're getting ready for like spring, summer, and all that stuff. It's time for them to do it. It's that makeup time. 
it's usually like what spring summer and then the holiday christmas holiday time it's the time okay nice little purple little look going on All right, take this outer shade, this matte shade, the only matte shade in the palette. We're gonna pack a little bit on the outer V, only because I wanna see what it's about. Let's blend. Can y'all kind of see? Oh, y'all can see. I, I asked y'all a question and I answered for y'all. <laughs> I asked you a question and I answered it. Okay, where is my crease brush? Okay, purple, done. For foundation today, I'm gonna use my Revlon Illuminous in 509 Skin Caring Foundation. I don't know if I wanna mix my yellow with it yet. Let me see. Yeah, I wanna mix a little yellow. This is neutral. I don't feel like being neutral. Although I can be neutral, I don't feel like being neutral today. I'm put and I like to mix. If you're new to my channel, I like to mix foundations and concealers and all of that. If you're old to my channel, then you just know it's just something I like to do. Most people don't. They want to just grab their foundation shade and be good and done with it. But me, I don't mind mixing. I think it's more so me trying to figure out what I'm capable of doing. <laughs> What I'm capable of doing or what, you know, what outcome. Let me use this because I have it. It's a Japanese brush that I got from Marshalls a while ago. Let me try this. Can y'all see me? It feels so like a paintbrush. I don't know if I can apply it like that all over. But I don't, I don't have the time, I should say. Yeah, L'Oreal and Revline to me is on the higher end of drugstore, not like Maybelline. 
I just used a pump and a half. I'm making sure I got everything off this little palette. I'm making a mess for sure. All right. Next, I'm going to use my Nude Stick Nude 8 Concealer. Wore this the other day. Absolutely loved it. So, this is what we're going to use today. It gets the right amount of highlight. It's creamy. Easy to blend. Stays in place. In other words, I have no... <laughs> Nothing bad to say about this concealer. <laughs> in so many words, in all the words, I don't have anything bad to say about this concealer. So, we'll let that sit for a minute while I... Ooh, y'all, I just started using my uh, new Sony camera, and it, the, the, the filming part and everything was fine, but when it came to, like, transferring and downloading or whatever, importing, the, uh, what do you call that thing, the videos and the photos, like, oh my gosh, their system is, like, so much different than uh canon system i finally about 11 o'clock last night i finally figured out how to download everything and it was like not easy at all <laughs> i mean it was easy once i once i uh found this guy on youtube and i just followed his steps and i was like okay Got it. I, I'm just gonna have to do it this way for now. And it was not using the Canon um, app or system imaging system they had. It was just basically uh, importing it directly to my computer from the camera. Whew. That thing had my head hurting, and I'm, I don't like to get things to beat me down and beat me up. I'm like, I got to figure this out. There's no way that it should be this hard to download stuff you all see that i got some get this out of my eye Oh, that concealer, mm, that's another thing. If you have never tried that concealer, I suggest giving it a try because I don't think I ever heard anyone talk about that concealer. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Sasha Buttercup set. Around the nose, on the side of the nose, make sure you get it. And press it in, not big. All right, I'm doing some lashes. I'll be right back. Dog, I've been recording for 15 minutes. I've just been talking to y'all. Like, y'all ain't got to go to work. Okay, let's go ahead and do a little blush while we wait. Same lip and lipstick I color corrected with. <laughs> <laughs> I will wear that liquid lipstick out. Is it? Look at that. And then I mess that up. Look at that. But when I cut the concealer, I okay, whatever. I don't know. There's a little blush right here. 
<laughs> Stuck it right in the doggone tube. Oh no. And let's bronze up with some of our Black Radiance Press Powder and Black Coffee. Oh. Get that hairline. All right, let me throw on these lashes, y'all. I'll be right back. All right, I'm feeling a little blush friendly today, so I'm gonna take this Sweet Cheeks by She Glam. Middle shade. Should I? Yeah, middle shade. That's really a pink or orange. That goes. <laughs> I found this in this thing. All right. Go. Not too much, Nana. Okay. You already got purple eyes and a little bit of my no color. Powder. I got this much bad on. <laughs> All right, I'm going to spray with my NYX Bear With Me spray. Let that sit. I'll go get dressed. Then we'll come back, of course, and do lips. I love spraying this stuff. This is what I'm talking about. If you're nervous, if you're new to my channel, you never saw it. And hold on. Might as well put my ColourPop lip primer on and let it be sitting while I go get dressed, also. Good to go. All right, be back. All right, time for lips. Morphe date night. When I went to try to link this the other day, I see that they no longer sell this. This is reminiscent or compared to me, in my opinion, of the MAC Night Moth. And I'm, I don't know why Morphe doesn't sell it anymore. I thought it was like a staple. I was looking for a pencil shop in there, but uh yeah they have some that's similar to it but i've never tried those so i can't like recommend but it's just like a mauve shade not like a mauve like a plum Oh, it is long lasting. This is one of the lip colors I found the other day that I enjoy. So, of course, I'm going to do it again. Of course, I'm going to do it again. All right, this Lorac lip liner in Socialite. It's a nude shade. Fill it in. 
and it has I love these see you don't need a pencil sharpener when you have one that you can push up and down because I actually ate drank and all of that and my lips were still in place when I did this combo kind of do that so you can marry the two together and then MAC lip glass and boy bait and brush through the front of my eyebrows Sometimes I forget, so that way they're not boxy. And I think we're good to go. This is the completed stash shopping type of look, guys. Up and up and close. <laughs> up and close personal type look just i hope you all can see like a lot of you know what i was trying to do as far as the eyeshadow and the makeup and everything i just love up close videos where you guys can see my real skin my real flaws my real everything when applying makeup just to know i just i don't like filters if you ever notice on my thumbnails, my thumbnails are never smoothed out. It's never filtered. It's just I take a picture and the picture is what the picture is. <laughs> it's not. And I know it's not aesthetically pleasing because everything is like oversaturated and over smoothed out these days. And I'm just not with that. Like I when I think like when like promoting, let's just say, oh, I'm going to spray. I'm going to spray some of my marshmallow. Hold on. I think this sets your makeup phenomenally. Like, it sets it really, really, really well. But I just think, like, if I'm talking to you guys about makeup and I'm saying, oh, this primer does this or this foundation does this, then you, sh you should be able to see. I know you're not going to see in detail, but you should be able to see how it looks on my true skin without a filter or without a smooth over or any of that. Because to me, it's kind of like almost like before I knew that it was a such thing as filters, I used to, I used to try to create looks based upon what I saw uh, people foundations or concealers they were using i'm like dog their skin looks really really good that foundation or that concealer did that to their skin i need to go out and get that and then my skin wasn't looking like their skin and then i realized that they were just using a filter and i'm like oh my gosh <laughs> my skin is never going to look like that so i just love videos that are very much so true to how you know it really is in real life because <laughs> in real life you don't walk around with a filter in real life you don't have anything where you can just go in the bathroom and just like smooth all the wrinkles or smooth all the marks off your face or whatever your face is going to be your face and we're all human we all go through skin issues or whatever type of issue so it's just life now let me take this one and pat that in with this, I feel like once you let it sit for a minute and you pat it in, like it performs the best. I gotta bite my nose though. Some got in my nose. And make sure I just pat it all in and we are good to go. Sorry if y'all are like <laughs> up close, close. <laughs> but this is the complete. Let me see if I scoop back so what y'all see. Oh, oh, sorry. All right, this is the completed look down. Look down. Time for me to go. This is the completed look. <laughs> Drop down and let me know your thoughts. What do you think about this look? I think I'm, I'm, I am happy 
I'm happy. I love stash shopping. I'm happy because it makes me not want to rush out and just get new makeup, especially, you know, once I'm discovering makeup that's already in my stash. And I'm just uh, so happy that I decided to branch out and just shop these items in my stash and give y'all an up close type of look. So yeah, if you enjoyed today's video, please make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I'm going to catch y'all later. Bye guys.